Well, parents across the region are waiting to hear what a typical school day is going to look like for their children when they return to class in the fall. The Butler School District is one of the first to file a reopening plan with the state this week. Nicole Ford is live now outside the high school with more on just what some of these changes may mean. Nicole? Well, Stacy, the school board unanimously approved that reopening plan earlier this week, but Superintendent Brian White says it's more like the first draft. He says he fully anticipates this plan to change before students walk through the doors this fall. As schools remain empty and closed, parents are deciding if they will send their kids back this fall. Torn, very torn. Um, fear of coronavirus, of course, expectations as to how the school day will run, will they wear masks, what will their socialization be with the other kids. Melissa Frederick has 10 kids, six attend Butler School District. Her questions are ones the district hopes to answer in their reopening plan. We adopted our plan early. We think it's pretty thorough. In fact, Butler is one of the first districts to submit its plan to the state. Superintendent Brian White says there will be cafeteria changes to limit crowds and temperature screenings every morning. We have probably 560 hand sanitizing stations or washing stations that we're putting in over the course of the summer. And then a lot of signage, a lot of directional flow. We we're always used to sc in schools, uh, particularly the secondary kids, just sort of walk on the hall and the bell rings. And it, it sort of the plans are to make it more look like a traffic pattern. As for masks, they will be encouraged but not required by the district. Something Frederick tells me she agrees with because her younger kids are unlikely to keep the masks on. My older kids, they understand about more hand washing and safe environment. They understand that. Our younger ones, not so much. Now, the plan also includes what would happen if the county moves back into the yellow phase, while the plan would have elementary schools capacity cut by 50%. But White says that the legislature would have to get involved because school districts don't have the authority to put that plan in place because it would actually reduce the number of school days for students. We're live in Butler tonight. Nicole Ford, KDK News.